633 as the Russian and Ukraine crisis continues to unfold. Farmers across the country in the United States keeping a close eye on exactly how that's going to impact the prices they pay for things like fuel and fertilizer. That includes here in Kansas City. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leone live at the KC Farm School at Gibbs Road this morning. Daniela, how could they be impacted by this crisis? Hey, good morning, Lindsay and Taylor. Well, the Casey Farm School here at Gibbs Road says the situation is still too fluid to determine how much of a direct impact they will see. However, an increase in fuel prices is already taking place, and they say those costs are being passed down on to them. And this is on top of what is already panning out to be a tough growing season for these guys. Right now, spinach should be covering this field. However, this was the first year they were unable to germinate the seed because the soil out here was simply too hot. And now, as you can see, their field is looking pretty empty right now with hardly any leafy greens inside and that's not how it used to be in previous years. Now the school operates as an organic and local urban farm that give local urban farmers a place to grow. They say prices for them are significantly up all across the board like peat moss and per perlite which they need for their soil has seen a 100% increase and they think the price will continue to go up and the increase in fuel prices since these amendments come from Canada. Now we spoke to a new farmer at the school who says the supply chain crisis, inflation, and now this crisis is putting farmers in a really tough spot. There's just a lot of uncertainty. There's more land access issues than ever. Um, there's more competition than ever, honestly, from the concentrating of ownership. And so it's getting harder, even as our local scene is thriving, it's getting harder to continue to build that local economy of small scale, of intensive, of diversified farmers. And the Agricultural and Environmental Sciences School at UC Davis released an article just last week saying with the uncertainty happening overseas, this is causing fuel and oil prices to go up and having a ripple effect on fertilizer prices, which have surged in the previous days. And they predict this will lead to farmers having to cut back on the amount of fertilizer they need, which, as you can imagine, Taylor and Lindsay will be a tough adjustment for our farmers. And, Daniela, of course, the next question from people watching at home this morning is, do those farmers expect to have to pass some of those prices on to the consumer that buys their product? Well, right now it's tough to say, but here at the Casey Farm School, they told me they are really holding off and increasing those prices. However, they think this tough situation farmers are being put in is going to lead them to have to rethink on the ways that they're used to harvesting, the crops that they're used to growing, and even open the door for regenerative agriculture as well. Hmm. Interesting. Daniela Leon, Leon Live for us this morning. Daniela, thank you so much. Thank you, Daniela.